think of fall, you think cooler weather. And another thing that comes to mind, comfort food. How about grilled cheese? Well, our Michelle Oliver partied up with our movie guy, Greg Russell. They paired up and went in search of some unusually tasty grilled cheeses around the D. Get ready to find your fix. So I've wanted to take you on one of these Find Your Fix adventures for a while, yeah. and I found some really unique grilled cheeses. Oh wow, you had me at grilled cheese. I love it. Awesome, so we're gonna try some really different ones. Some that have kind of dessert elements to Ooh. them, some that have some wings in them. We're gonna have fun, you ready to go? I am ready to go. Awesome. To the Live in the D-Mobile. Let's go. First stop is Herman's Old Town Grill in Plymouth. Here we're trying their special grilled cheese. They start by toasting two thick slices of raisin bread. Then they top them with Gouda and Munster cheese, a thinly sliced Granny Smith apple, and bacon. Once the cheese is melty, they put it all together. Ching ping. Mmm. <laughs> That's not like any grilled cheese I'm used to though, but it's really good. And the raisin bread yeah. really puts like this nice sweet taste mm -hmm. to it. I like the apples too. They're very, they're still kind of crisp. They didn't mm -hmm. like saute them or anything. Right. So it's just like fresh little crisp apple bite. There's a lot of stuff on the sandwich, but nothing's overbearing. Like mm -hmm. you said, it all just kind of blends right in together mm -hmm. for a really delicious sandwich. I could eat this whole thing. <laughs> Next up, we head to Tom and Chi in Canton. Today we're trying their grilled mac and cheese, which begins with two buttered slices of their sour white bread. They get topped with mozzarella, cheddar cheese, and bacon. Then, after the cheese is melted, they top it with their homemade mac and cheese and crispy onions. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Oh, it's got some bacon in there, too. Mm-hmm. And the crispy onions. Mm. I just got that. Oh, that's so good. Oh, man. So there are over five different kinds of cheese in this. There's over five different kinds of cheese in the mac and cheese alone. Wow. And they all blend together so deliciously. Yeah. I mean, cheese, really you good. know it goes well with cheese? A side of cheese, and then some more cheese, and then top with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we also thought we'd try one of their grilled cheese donuts, the Choco Bacon Bliss. They used a glazed donut instead of bread, and top it with mozzarella cheese, chocolate, and bacon. Once it's done grilling, they top it with a dollop of chocolate mascarpone. Ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. So this is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna have to get a whole new wardrobe after <laughs> this whole thing's over with. I'm, I'm like, my mind doesn't know how to make sense of this right now. If you like the salty and sweet, like dipping your fries in the frosty right. or anything like that, it's kind of a similar vibe mm -hmm. with this. Our final destination is the Grilled Cheesery in Ann Arbor, where we're trying their Wingin' It Grilled Cheese. They begin by buttering their artisan white bread and top it with mozzarella and a sprinkle of blue cheese. They then warm up their homemade pulled chicken breast and add it to the sandwich, along with a drizzle of their buffalo sauce, and they top it with some crunchy kettle-cooked potato chips. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> this is like the best part of buffalo wings with the best part of a grilled cheese. All the different things in here just kind of just marinate all so well together. Yeah, it's not like you're getting a bite that's mostly chicken mm -hmm. or a bite that's mostly cheese. It's really well proportioned, I guess. Yeah, Same we're getting a bite that's just all the way good. Well, I would say we found our fix. I think we did. All right, grilled cheese in the house. Mm -hmm. And now we've got Chris Del Camp and Michelle Oliver, part of the Live in the D crew, out here to give a taste of all of the sandwiches that you showed in the piece, right? Yes. So you all have right. the mac and chi. I have the choco bacon bliss. This is at Tom and Chi. Yeah, these are both from Tom and Chi in Canton. This is from the grilled cheesery. It's uh, the wing in it, and it has gluten free bread. Thank so we're showing you. off their gluten free bread. And then Chris has Herman's Old Town Grills special grilled cheese. All right, well, let's so it. let's let's give dive it, in and taste. Give it a taste. What do you got over there? Mm. How was it? Yeah. Yours look is at a that! Bit. Look at that spill out like that. Every time I try to cut this one, mm. it oozes goodness. Well, this is really good. That's yummy. Isn't that one? I really like. This is very yummy. Yeah. I really like to taste the all the different well. flavors mm -hmm. inside it. See if it complements each other. I like the raisin bread on the kind of the outside, kind of. That's interesting. It works, it's different, right? right? Yeah. yeah. No, this is really good. I've never had 
Like a grilled cheese with chicken? So that's a nice little twist, Jason. How's yours? Good, what a tough assignment you had there. I know, <laughs> I know, right? I have what's such so, a hard job here. What's so funny is like when Jason was so quiet, that's how you know whatever someone is eating is good. Because mm -hmm. they're not talking, they're busy eating. They're like, let me enjoy really this good. flavor. I got a kid who eats only grilled cheese, and only mac and cheese, but I'm not sure she would go for both of them combined, but maybe I should give it a whirl. Maybe. Right. Right. That'd be interesting. She's a little picky. Well, these mm. are all really I'll good. Thanks to all the places that participated. Thanks, mm -hmm. Michelle, for bringing these into us. Next on the